is up YouTube this is Jay Frog from Dart Frog Adventures uh, today this is a really cool spot a uh, huge shout out to my friend Iron Mike for bringing me up here uh, I've been wanting to get up here for a very long time this place has some paranormal activity to it we're out here in the daytime um, if you saw our last video uh, the haunted campground haunted campground is down that way about another five miles um, like I was telling you before in one of my other videos if you take the St. Anne's Retreat the nunnery and you take Camp Wilmia and you take Preston Campground, they all make a triangle and they point right here to this spot where we're at today. It's called Ephraim's Grave. This is awesome. So I'm going to take you guys over there right now. So yeah, this is Ephraim's Grave. Um, as far as I know it, for the legend on this place, is this place, uh, this monument right here to Ephraim, he was supposed to have been a nine foot tall mountain man uh weighed about 1100 pounds um right here where this grave's at right now uh supposedly that's where his bones were buried uh back in the 60s this was constructed back in the 60s i'll go over there and i'll show you the plaque here in a second uh back in the 60s they found some bones right here so they took the bones and they sent them to the smithsonian museum well the smith uh, the smithsonian museum uh had them you know did their thing and uh classified the bones as actually 1100 pound grizzly bear the skull that they found was actually of a grizzly bear. But however, if you were watching our Camp uh, Lomia, the haunted video, uh, haunted campground, Camp Lomia video, um, we found some huge, huge footprints, something that would match about a nine foot tall mountain man, this fellow right here. Um, so if you haven't seen the haunted campground, which was one of our first videos, Mernay and I did it, uh, go check that video out. Uh, then you'll see the big footprints. And like I said, remind you, the arrow or not the arrow but the triangle point the longest point of the triangle points right here to this spot um it took us probably about three hours to get up here because we're about 18 19 miles up here in the mountains so i'm going to show you around the mountains real quick so yeah we're way up here you can see the mountain back over there so let's check this out real fast so i'll go ahead and go ahead and let you read these real quick so I'll take a shot of that so you can see it pause it if you like so you can read it yeah uh, nice yeah so this was uh, created by local uh, back in the 60s it says August 20, 22 1966 um, yeah right there nine foot tall and weighed about a thousand pounds Smithsonian Institute of Washington, D.C. has this call. So this memorial for Ephraim, uh, this is pretty cool. Um, so like I said, this place has some crazy paranormal uh, activity that goes on around here. Uh, more so at night. Um, but uh, if you guys want to see Marne or the Wild West Kid and I come up here, you're going to have to slam those legs down because it's a hell of a ride to get up here. And uh, we will come up here and do a night investigation all around this place for you. Uh, and give that a shot and see what we find out here. But for the most part, it's, it's uh, quite, a, quite a hike to get up here. And uh, the only way we'll come back up here to actually do an investigation is if we get over a thousand likes. And we'll come back up and do that for you guys. But uh, yeah, so here it is. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick walk around a couple of these trails and see what we find. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a quick little hike. That's a bird. Okay, cool. Let's see where this trail goes. I'm not going to go too far up it. Just check out some of the stuff. Some writing on the trees. Somebody carved their initials in there. Oh, chipmunk. He is upset. I guess I startled him out of his little spot. Like I said, I'm not going to go too far up here. It's kind of thick. Some old structures and stuff. Got to watch out for snakes up in here too. Like I said, I'm only going to go probably about another 20 yards or so 
and then come back down. It took us about, I don't know, two hours to get up here, three hours. Some more little critters. It smells like a skunk up here right now. I don't know if skunks live up here. And another cool thing about this area too is um, we've had professional investigators come up here. I don't know to this exact spot or not, but uh, over there, Camp Lomia, and then down the way to St. Anne's Retreat, uh, a Ghost Adventures actually did an episode on the nunnery. Uh, they call it the St. Anne's Resort, but it's actually a retreat. Um, but yeah, they went there and they confirmed that it was actually haunted, Ghost Adventures. And then uh, the show uh, Finding Bigfoot, those guys come up to this area too. They're not, they weren't too far from this area too. So supposedly we're supposed to have Bigfoot up here too, but I mean, look around. I mean, you can see why there's, why people would say there'd be Bigfoots up here and whatnot. And having that legend of Ephraim right over there, I mean, that just really gives you a, kind of a really understanding of, you know, why uh, the legends come out around this area where we live here in northern Utah. But, uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to go ahead and turn around right now. Uh, Iron Mike and I are just taking a break from our drive because we, we uh, had a pretty long drive to get up here. And there's some more riding on the tree over there. But yeah, I just thought we'd come out here and check it out because I've never been here. Uh, this is awesome. I love being up here. Uh, huge shout out to Iron Mike for bringing me up here. Um, drop a like on the video for Mike. Uh, drop a comment saying, hey, thanks, Mike. You know, the video was cool. Thank you. Awesome. All that fun stuff. Um, I'd like to thank all you YouTubers for watching my videos. You guys are awesome. You guys are slamming down those likes and slamming down those comments and hitting the subscribe button which is awesome thank you um that really really makes us as uh youtubers and creators of our channels and stuff really happy because you guys are enjoying our stuff and we appreciate that tremendously so thank you youtube for slamming down the likes on my channel but yeah so this is going to be kind of a short video for Ephraim. I'm doing another quick little one on Instagram. I also have an Instagram channel, um, Dark Frog Adventures on Instagram. So if you want to follow us over there at Instagram, go ahead. It's at Dark Frog Instagram. So, or Dark, sorry, at Dark Frog Adventures on Instagram. If I could talk. <laughs> but let's go ahead and see what's around behind the back of this thing, too. Pretty cool monument. The locals built this back in the 60s. It's One thing when it comes to the paranormal is you never want to pick up anything from a site that you know is paranormal. Because uh, if you pick up even a rock and take it home with you, you could bring something home with you. Don't want to do that. So leave nothing more than your footprint. Leave anything where it is at, just leave it lie. Don't disturb it in any way, shape, or form. That's the best uh, advice I can give to you. Um, outside of that, enjoy your surroundings and enjoy, you know, the videos and whatever. And, you know, get out and hike and have some fun. And you'll enjoy it like I do. So, but yeah, this is, this is Ephraim's grave. It's pretty cool. It's, I've been wanting to get up here for a very long time. Now that I'm up here, it's, it's awesome. I'm glad we came up here. Like I said, a huge shout out to Iron Mike for bringing me up here. It's so awesome. But yeah, there's really not a lot to this other than pretty much the legend of it. Which, the legend of it is kind of interesting too. I mean, come to, you know, once you find out it's like a 1,100 pound grizzly bear. Uh, I mean, that skull had to have been like this big. Uh, like I was saying with our camp, uh, the haunted video, the haunted campground video, Camp Alumia, we found footprints there, you know, they had to be like, they were huge. I don't know what size, <laughs> maybe 23s at the most, uh, but they, they were huge. I mean, and there was no toe prints in it too, which is weird. 
because uh, if you stop and think of how the mountain men used to live and everything, they'd put like uh, they put coverings over their boots to keep their feet warm, so you wouldn't really get an actual track. You just get an outline of a track, like you saw woodpecker, like you would like you saw in the video. It's just an outline of uh, a big footprint. So there's a lot of bugs out here today too. And that's the thing with uh, paranormal. Uh, you're going to have paranormal activity. And when an area is supposedly haunted or is haunted or whatever has paranormal activity to it, you're, you're, it's going to have activity in the daytime and it's going to have activity at nighttime. Some places are more active in the daytime. Uh, some places are more active at nighttime. Uh, like I said earlier, this is, in, this is one of the ones that is supposed to be more active at night. And I mean, with just a little bit of wildlife that we've heard around here right now, I could really understand. Um, when you come out of the road right over here and go up a little ways, there's actually a bunch of little springs They're running across the road and everything and uh, Like I said uh, water natural springs rivers um, limestone uh, All that stuff is a paranormal conductor or it can be um, So having all of that around here like right over here is a little bit of a marsh and stuff, too I'll take you over there real quick. It's dry right now, but as you can see, there's like a little channel bed right in there from like an old creek or something. And for as much grass as around here, there's water, not, like I said, natural springs and everything. So, yeah, you're going to have quite a bit of activity in this area too. So, But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video for you guys. Uh, it's going to be a quick little video. But uh, since we're out here, I thought I'd just bring a quick little video. So... This is Jay Frog from Dart Frog Adventures, and I hope you enjoyed this video because this has like been one of the coolest ones I've been able to do so far. Um, I, I had fun coming up here. This is awesome just being here. But uh, so, this is Jay Frog from Dart Frog Adventures. Till the next adventure.